Hi, STAT students. This short video will talk about future classes in statistics that you can take at the University of Minnesota. This class doesn't necessarily serve as a prerequisite for other classes, but it can. Uh, this is a, a introductory kind of a research level statistics class that can set you up well for taking many of these other classes uh, that I'll talk about. <clears throat> So as an example, within CFANS, the College of Food, Ag, and Natural Resource Sciences, there are a number of courses. This is the college that many of you sit, although not all of you uh, that are in this class this semester. I really recommend if you want more advanced uh, class in statistics that gets into Bayesian statistics, FW 8051 is Stats for Ecologists, and that's a great course. Um, unfortunately, that one is typically taught in the spring, but it won't be taught in the spring of 2022 because the professor, Dr. John Feeberg, is on sabbatical. Uh, and so you'll have to catch that in 2023 if you wanted to take that course. The entomology department offers a number of great classes uh, that kind of have a, an agriculture or natural resources bend to them. Um, and so ENT 5121 is Applied Experimental Design. Uh, that is a great course, especially for those of you in applied plant sciences and some of the other grad programs that use a lot of experimental data. Um, that's going to be a great class for you to think about how you might analyze data from experiments. ENT 5126 is what we call space-time analysis, um, and so that's taught um, every spring or every other spring as well, I think will be taught in spring of 2022, um, especially if you deal with data collected over time and across space. Uh, that's going to be an excellent class for you, uh, especially to those of you in entomology and pathology uh, systems. ENT 5920 is data management for biologists. Uh, that's an excellent class that kind of looks more at kind of the the bookends of data analysis. And so how do you get your data into the kind of shape? How do you uh, manage it? And then what do you do with the data after you do your analysis? Um, and so I really recommend that class uh, that's offered in the spring as well. So all of these classes are offered next spring uh, with the exception of the Stats for Ecologist class. You'll have to catch that in 2023. The University of Minnesota is big. Uh, we have a statistics department and we have a biostatistics department and we have a lot of other departments that also teach statistics classes. So this is just a sampling of other classes that you might be interested in. If you have lots of variables and you're interested in the stats class, uh, applied multivariate methods is a great one. If you're interested in learning more about non-parametric methods, so in this class, we focused largely on parametrics. We ran a model, we got coefficients, we got numbers to then say something and make inference about populations. Non-parametric methods are interesting because they don't use numbers as quite as much. And so there's some usual, some, uh, unique things about some of the approaches that they use. If you want to learn more about the models, especially regression models, applied regression analysis is really great. Um, so that's STAT 5302. Uh, the Educational Psychology Department has a great um, class on longitudinal data, kind of data collected through time. Uh, that's a great one. If you have categorical data, um, a lot of uh, people in the social sciences and people that work with surveys have a lot of categorical data. Excellent class on that. Um, a lot of uh, classes on survey design and survey collection and, and research methods. Uh, that's another great class that's offered uh, here at the university. And so that's just a quick sampling of some other classes. I know that many students that have taken this course in the past go on. If they want more advanced stats knowledge, they'll take other courses. And many of these are, are part of their statistical package in terms of courses that they take. So I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about, you know, your own project and whether or not you think one of these courses might be a good fit and give you the tools to help you analyze your own data uh, by taking one of these classes. So uh, that's a brief overview of uh, some other offerings here at the U of M.